Hello and thank you very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today we're going to be looking at the Pandora RDA from Psychosis Inc, which is uh, an interesting little uh, little atomizer that has been designed in the UK and uh, I believe it's made in China, but it's uh, it's an interesting little thing with a few differences to it. Now, I've had this for uh, I've had this for a long time. I've had this since like April, I think. Um, funny story, <laughs> one was actually sent to me that was I think it was a prototype and so I got it and went, "What's going on here?" But then realized I had a chat with Chris and uh, and realized that it was the wrong one. So that got replaced, but I've been having this for a long time and it's been one of those RDAs I didn't get on well massively with at the start and uh, I would put it on a shelf and then I'd come back to it after a few weeks and you know, on and off and on and on and off and just put I have put so many coil bills through this. It's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, so this certainly been very very well tested but uh, before any further ado let's go for a tour around the little pandora rda shall we come on then Alrighty then, so here we are with the Pandora box, white on white, sorry about that, but hopefully you can see what's going on. So this is the Pandora box, nothing super exciting, some pretty pretty designs going on there, and uh, it does say that it's Psychosis Inc. that's made it down the bottom there. Now then, getting this out, a little bit of a challenge, but we get there. Now then, if we break that open, we do have the RDA, which we'll look at shortly, uh, but in here we do have a bunch of bits and bobs that will go over. You do get an Allen key in there as well, which is always nice. Um, and away we go. So in here with the bag of screws, you will get, um, there's three sets all in all. There's, there's one set installed in the RDA. Then you've got another set which have kind of a round head, uh, Phillips head going on. I don't know if that's going to focus to enable you to see that through the bag. Um, or failing that, there is some headless um, flat, uh, flat screwdriver, flat head. They're the, they're, the, they're the jobbies that we can use as well. So um, we've got those, or we've obviously got the Allen key ones that are in the RDA itself. Now then, we also do have a uh, spare drip tip. This does come with two drip tips. Um, I've quite enjoyed the shape of this one, which is why I have gone with that. Um, and uh, this wide bore one here is all fine and dandy. Goon styles will fit in the top of here. So uh, any goon caps you've got or goon compatible will go in here. Right, let's open up this RDA. Okay, so these are the three main sections of the RDA, and let's look at them one at a time, shall we? So, first of all, you've got this, uh, you've got this very top cap going on at the top here. Um, it's an interesting design, and it's nice and chunky up the top here. You've got your O-ring inside for your goon tips. Uh, you've got two O-rings holding it on, meaning that you've got a very reasonable purchase going on. Uh, but this is the underside of this bad boy. Now, the idea of this, I believe, is supposed to help the uh, flavor go up and into the uh, into the into the mouth hole um, now I, I, I imagine I'm going to get some hate for this, but I very much doubt that the slots in it will do absolutely anything to the uh, the airflow. And a, just a curved top cap may have done exactly the same job. But who knows? That's just my opinion. I don't think they do anything. Um, and they're certainly not going to make it kind of spiral. And even if they did, what difference would that make? So, um, yeah, for, to, to the airflow, I don't think it really does a great deal. And I'm not entirely sure the slices mean anything, whereas uh, just an, a domed top cap wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have done the trick quite nicely having said that uh, let's like say this is nice and chunky this is 304 uh, stainless steel I believe um, and is a, a nice chunky heavy top cap now then that goes into the barrel as you see here it's very very shiny indeed there is this color or a, a gunmetal sort of black kind of affair or gunmetally dark black no dark gray kind of thing going on apologies for the fingerprints it is something you do have to kind of deal with when you get this RD or anything shiny like this. So you've got the Psychosis uh, Inc. logo going on the front of there, which is very, very cool. And then you have airflow holes here, here, and the same on the other side. So there's no single coil option with this bad boy in its current form. Um, but what you do have is you have the wide open kind of uh, hole in the side there or this which will uh, I've got a little bit of uh, cotton in my fingernail um, or this section here which will actually hopefully help to distribute the air a little bit more evenly um, and uh, reduce your airflow and that means that one of the things that you can use is when you do close it down rather than this one where you're just closing down a big old hole uh, with this one you can sort of knock out one two and three 
of the uh, of the slots which is quite interesting now then moving on to the deck itself and here it is are we going to focus there we go so we've got a two block system so you've got a positive on one side negative on the other um and you know it's not it's nothing that we haven't really seen before when it comes to uh, what's inside there you've got a nice big hole so you can fit a bunch of big coils in and that's splendid now your air holes do come up underneath there so you'll notice that you may have to lift your coils up from where you're uh, where you're going to position them in there just so they're above that airflow but uh, no that is there you don't have a great deal of space on either side for your wick so I mean I've been able to get some pretty decent sized coils in here but on occasions if I've gone for a particularly large coil like a 4 mil ID something like that I have actually trimmed down the wick to make sure it isn't too crushed when it goes into there the interesting thing on this deck is where the airflow comes in and that's underside here and what happens is the airflow goes in underneath the build deck portion and comes out at the top there uh, so I believe the idea on this is to keep this reasonably cool when it comes to a heat transfer so when this RDA is sitting on top of your mod uh, obviously the RDA is going to get hot that's where the coils are but uh, the idea is for it to uh, not transfer as much through to the section that's actually sitting on on top of your mod and you can see that they are separate pieces as well so um, that kind of works that kind of works underneath there you will see the Pandora logo as well as a serial number on there as well all in all machining on it is not bad at all um, there are a couple of little things I don't know if you can see under here I'm not entirely sure what's going on there but it seems to be happening on this side as well so I don't know if that's a, a runner I don't know if this section is press fit into the base or whatever but uh, uh, is certainly not going anywhere now let me show you the uh, squonk pin so this is the squonk pin that you can purchase separately essentially it's the same positive post as before but with a threaded hole on the inside of it on the uh, on the where it connects to the base there and you do have a stainless steel um, 510 pin or with a hole through the middle as you would expect I believe these are the mod maker ones which are very very good indeed the stainless steel is great I've never had one implode on me or anything like that now I did see online some time ago that I think it was a shop in Canada I think um, um, had a squonk set up which looked like it had a copper pin which uh, I would strongly uh, advise against uh, in favour of a stainless steel squonk pin it stops it patinering and going nasty if any juice is left inside it but uh, no that's all, all you've got to worry about with that one so it's dead easy to replace the only thing that I will say is once you unscrew this 510 pin here um, the uh the it's in, the the positive post is incredibly tight and crazy tight it really really is and so what i've had to do is i've had to unscrew this a little way pop the screwdriver in it pop the top cap on and then bang it down onto the desk uh so the screwdriver pushes the screw up which then pulls up the uh, positive post that's the only way i was able to get that out to change them over but uh, there you go that's all all you've got to worry about now let's get a build in it and go up top and have a vape Alrighty, so this is how I've gone about wicking this side. I just wanted to show you how I put these builds in. These are just a couple of coils from Coil Art because they were to hand and they were an absolute pig to get glowing the same. But there we go, that's it. Now I know this is going to make a lot of people say, oh, you need your coils higher or you need coils lower or whatever else. But uh, I've just thrown this in for the sake of review today purely because I have put so many builds in here which we will discuss uh, later on. Now because of the uh, size of these coils, I put both legs both through those center holes so I haven't used the outside holes at all and it just means that there's there's nothing even more intrusive when it comes to the wicking so it's dead easy to get your wick into to cut off the wick length on these I'm going to leave a fair amount of length to them but uh, I think about there should be all right and about there I think that will uh, that will do the trick now we just got to tickle the wick and then we can just fold it in and away we go. As always, try not to have your wick touching the airflow holes because you don't want the juice to take the path of least resistance and go down there. But otherwise, that's about it. So I'm just going to bang some juice on here and we'll go up top and have a vape. Okay then, so that was the tour around the Pandora RDA. These are those little coils that I stuck in there um, in the up close going on. And let's have a little toot, shall we? So I'm going to have the airflow just 
full beans open at the base there. Is that going to focus? Is it going to focus? Is it just too shiny? Um, full beans at the base there rather than the little sort of slotted affairs. And that's coming out at, that's now 0 0.19. Now that's, uh, now I've heated them up a little bit. And 69 watts. I know, I'm not 66.6. .6. It's doing my nutting. But anyway, here we go. Now then, this is designed as that kind of, one of those kind of midway kind of RDAs, and as much as you're, you're, you're meant to get a whole bunch of flavour and a reasonable amount of vapour, but uh, not sort of full flavour chaser or not full open cloud chaser. So it's that kind of mid-level thing. And uh, it's it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Uh, let me just take one of the, or the airflow down into the, uh, the slotted holes rather than the open holes. I'm going to have another toot. And that does give us a little bit more restriction going on in there. And obviously you can restrict it further if you so wish. Now, I wouldn't say that this is going to ever going to be a mouth to lung kind of RDA. That's certainly not what this is designed to do. And uh, because of the airflow going in under the deck before it comes up into those three quite large sort of slashes underneath the uh, underneath where the coils go there, then as a mouth to lung, it would be rubbish. But um, having said that, that's not what we're here, what we're here for. Obviously, I've got the, uh, the thicker, wider bore tip on here at the moment just so you can see what it looks like with that being on top now there's some interesting design choices with this one uh, let's look at the deck first shall we with the air going in and then coming up through the uh, up through those holes in the actual build deck area they're at 90 degrees so the whole the the air is coming in here but it's coming up here um, and I believe that is designed in that way so uh, should you do things like over drip then it, it's kind of a harder path for the juice to take to uh, come out and leak so by the time you you give it a good old chuff on it then uh, then you would suck up anything that would may, maybe gone overboard unless you over drip massively of course um, but uh, yeah that's I believe one of the reasons why that's there another reason for the uh, the, the space between the the bottom deck and the build deck obviously is as I said in the up close it's to try and help stop the heat gets getting transferred to your mod quite as easily which in essence is a very good idea now then I've done a whole bunch of research on this and I think that the build deck is press fit into the bottom deck uh, now I haven't been able to separate them I, I haven't been able to make that happen at all but in when I was trying to do so I did manage to do something that was a bit weird because when I got this it was turbulent as it was it was like it was like trying to suck up frozen peas through a straw. It was turbulent as you like. And I, I didn't like it at all. And I used my coils up and down. And, you know, I did a whole bunch of different types of coils. And I was getting really frustrated with it. Um, and one of the reasons why I'll pop it on the shelf for a bit and then bring it back out again and uh, and give it another go. But... Um, when I tried to separate the the sort of the build deck from the from the bottom deck, if you like, what I did was, I mean, I got things like screwdrivers and I tried to sort of jimmy it, and nothing, nothing, it just wasn't moving. Nothing was going on. But well, I mean, there was a tiny bit of movement, I think, but not, um, not not enough to make it move out. Now, when I then built it directly after doing that, the airflow seemed a bit smoother. Now, I have no fucking idea what's going on there at all. But, I mean, you, you might be able to hear it. It's, I mean, it's still not super smooth. Don't get me wrong. It's not, it's not, it's still turbulent-ish. But it just doesn't seem as bad as it was. You might have heard that one. It kind of goes... That sort of thing, rather than... Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So yeah, it's a it's a little bit strange in that regard. That that is that is a thing that does kind of put me off it. Um, however, let's go on to the other bits. The other thing, it's not really a negative. Um, it's a bit vapey. It's not really a negative because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything bad. But I think the idea of the top cap, I don't, I can't see how any level of logic would make that work in any difference. You're sucking from the top here, so you know any kind of 
aerial, no, aerial, <laughs> angled kind of holes in that top cap. It's not going to make it do that in your mouth. That doesn't happen like that. It's just going to come up and go straight into your mouth. Um, so that, that's not how air works. It would work that way if you're blowing air in the holes, but not if you're sucking it out of the top. Um, that being said, I don't think it detracts from the flavour. I just think it's a whole bunch of unnecessary machining that uh, may not need to be there. Um, so I think that, you know, I don't know whether it means that it costs more than it needs to. I don't know. But I think personally, I feel that just a normal domed top cap would do just as good a job. However, that's just my personal opinion. Now, then the flavour that I get from this is not bad at all. It's pretty good. And um, the airflow, like I say, it's, it's quite restricted, fully open. It's quite restricted. But as you can see, it's still a pretty cloudy affair. So it's still doing a darn good job. Actually, just in case anyone wonders, I'm using some Vaporgate juice in there at the moment. Some, uh, what's this called? Phoenix Peach Rings. It's very exciting, isn't it? Um, it's actually quite nice. But uh, no, that's so that's about it when it comes to the RDA. It's a 25mm, so it's a little bit wider than uh, than we're used to. So there is a tiny amount of overhang if you've got a 24mm RDA uh, mod that you're going to be putting it on. Um, now, the 510 whilst it does protrude a little bit, um, I wouldn't be comfortable using this one on a hybrid device, I don't think. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's tough. What I would suggest on, on this is when you get yours if you do buy one then please 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 check that uh 510 yourself because that i think they, they they may vary ever so slightly so uh, yeah that's something for you to check out now then price wise price wise they are coming through um the first people that i saw that had them i think was evolution vaping let me just double check here Yep, and that came through at Evolution Vaping, comes through for the Pandora RDO by Psychosis at $49.99 for both the gunmetal grey and for the uh, stainless version, the polished stainless version. Now, I think they also sell the uh, the pin as well. Yes, they do. If you do want the squonk pin, that will be an extra $8.99. So you have got that as an option, but it is um, an extra one. Now, for a £50 um, RDA, personally, I would like to have seen the squonk pin included. Uh, now, I know this came out kind of a few months ago now, so they weren't quite so prevalent in RDAs these days. But, um, but you know, I, I, personally, I would like to have seen that squonk pin and squonk post in there. I mean, it doesn't even need the squonk positive pin, if you like. Uh, it doesn't need the regular positive uh, pin in here. It could have had the squonk one with just a normal straight up... Um, 510 pin so you know i think that that could have been something that they could have achieved with this quite easily so yeah that's something i would like to have seen in the in this one and maybe in a v2 if they do it uh, now it's nice to see something that is designed in the uk and it's nice to see something uh, come out that does appear to be very very popular indeed it certainly looks nice it's pretty well machined uh, i haven't had any issues with any burrs or lumps or scratches or bits and bobs and stuff and things um so yeah all in all, it's been a, it's been a pretty darn decent vape. Whether it's a bit pricey at fifty quid for you, that's up to you. But uh, for me, it's uh, it's reasonable. It's just that airflow is just a little bit rather than for me. Anyway, that's all I can say. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. I'll pop my subscribe button down there and I'll pop a video there and there so you can go and check those out. That top one's going to be about Buster Rob, by the way. So uh, get in on that if you haven't already. I will see you very, very soon. Have it large.